Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a projector by EMOTN, uh, I believe that's Emotion. Um, and first let's look at some of the product features listed on the box and then open it up and see what it looks like. So on the side right here we have a bunch of features listed. This is 1080p with dual screen Bluetooth speaker and it also has dual, dual stereo Bluetooth speakers. It has screen mirroring capabilities. It is supported by uh, both uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi's and it has um, 250 lumens power and it also has a more reliable OS. So let's open it up and see what it looks like now. So this is all that it comes with, it has, um, this is the Emotion H1 projector and this is the instruction manual for it. We have an HDMI cable, um, some audio cables I believe, um, a remote control power adapter and finally our beautiful projector. Okay, so let's do a quick function overview before we test it out. Um, so this is what the projector looks like. It's quite small, as you can see, um, and compact, but it looks really cool. It's very re look, retro looking and um, looks quite nice with these gold knobs. So this is our focus button right here, and this is our turn on and off button. Right now, it doesn't have any power, um, but you would once you hear that click, you will see a red light that would um, over here that would uh, indicate that it's on. And then this is also your volume control button. Uh, you have your Bluetooth power button right here. Um, right over here, there's your Bluetooth. This is go back button. It's like a um, old school stereo player, but in the fast forward, move back, uh, play, pause buttons. On the back of the projector, we have some input um, ports right here. So we have our uh, micro SD slot right here. Um, you have an audio input for your headphones or something like that, an AV input, uh, USB, HDMI, Ethernet, and this is SPDIF, and this is a DC power input. So um, some quick features about this is that it has Bluetooth speaker capability, so I'm going to test out how the Bluetooth speaker works. Um, and it also has a 28 watt battery inside, so uh, you would be able to ideally use it cordless as well, which is uh, really great, especially since this is such a portable size and be, be, making it like cordless, you can use it uh, at outdoor events, which is quite nice. 
Um, I think this is the LED uh, red light that turns on. And on the bottom, I wanted to quickly show you, they have a kickstand. I think this is the kickstand that like helps it tilt a little bit. And they also have a easy like threaded uh, tripod attachment, I, I believe. Um, this would work with most uh, tripods because, and also the fact that this is small and not as heavy makes it easy to attach to a, tri a tripod. Obviously, you gotta make sure that tripod is sturdy enough to, to be able to handle this weight, but um, that is quite convenient, so you don't have to, um, you don't need, like, uh, extra surfaces if you have the adjustable surfaces right it, you can easily attach it to a tripod to adjust the height and angle and things like that um, so now we're gonna be testing it out and we'll show you how that process goes projector uh, OS looks like it's um, it uses Android system to do it and the cool thing about it is that you don't even need like an external um, TV uh, TV box or system to watch your videos it's just uh, integrated into the projector which is quite nice um, so you don't need a fire stick or wh whatever Chromecast or whatever device you use to watch your uh, t um, watch your, all your shows. Um, so this is the main screen and they even have their own app store that you can go to um, where you can um, um, use the um, get different apps that you want. I'm just gonna go back and um, show you some of the other features. So already in the packaging, YouTube and Netflix is installed. So those are like some of the highly used video apps anyway. So I'm gonna test out those. And then you have Keystone Correction and Auto Keystone Correction. So um, Keystone Correction basically would adjust like that angle right there. Um, that you see it's not really exactly fitting it onto the screen so um, I'm gonna try auto keystone correction to see how it uh, corrects the screen automatically and okay so let's try this one So I'm going to try the zoom four point um, and you just adjust it, the level and select OK when it's like uh, adjusted to the perfect uh, frame. And although I'm, I have to do this manually with my remote to adjust it and make sure it's uh, the perfect angle, 
it is quite a, it, it is a cool feature because um, most projectors don't uh, visually represent and like show you how to adjust like all the four corners you kind of have to guesstimate and use like knobs uh, um, rotate knobs until you're exactly correct but this one you're able to visualize it and see it digitally and like control like each individual corner um, ind individually to uh, give you the perfect angle so yeah so when you um, auto it seemed like auto keystone correction didn't work as well as I would have liked it to but you can also adjust it um, according to the the you can also adjust it yourself and it will give you the perfect fit so now I'm gonna talk about some of the other features that this has um, this is the remote control right here um, it's really not that visible but there's a bunch of buttons so like right here on the center is uh, our move replace or remove button so this is like a quick um, this is how you would adjust your apps on the bottom of the screen if you'd like to do that. And then there's a sources button to the right hand side right here. Um, so this is an IR remote control so make sure you're aiming it at the back of the projector where, there, where the IR uh, receiver is. And it's, it's like a dot right here, it's hard to see but um, make sure you're aiming it there. Um, I would have liked it to be a Bluetooth receiver instead of an IR one because it's just so much easier. But yeah, for the IR receivers, definitely point it near the projector. And so you would have different inputs, AV, HDMI, media, any media inputs if you have it. And yeah, so you can adjust your inputs. And if you go down, these are just like some arrows, like if you just select the down arrow you'll see all your apps I all your apps right there um, you can also download apps for the Play Store and there's like file managers and that, all that stuff so it's like a integrated Android system so um, that's what it is I'm just gonna go back to the main screen another thing is you have volume control right on the bottom area right here and then you have your power button and this is uh, the, on the right hand side right here um it is your let me pull that up real it's not working for some reason i'm not sure what that button does the right hand side button but the power button let's try the power button and with the power button you can completely shut it down reboot it or switch to the bluetooth speaker mode um then with the volume control buttons you basically uh control the volume of the uh, projector um slash bluetooth like basically the bluetooth speaker controls and um so yes let me show you another quick feature so i'm just gonna go to the bluetooth settings for this speaker so if I press on the button uh, for the Bluetooth speaker Connected. right here uh, it will just go to the Bluetooth speaker mode so on this speaker mode you can close the screen and just use the Bluetooth speaker itself um, you just go to your phone settings and connect it to the H1 speaker so I will just, uh, if you close screen, you can close screen or you can um, not decide not to do that. So let's go through some of the apps. So we have YouTube right here. And we will play some um, YouTube videos and see how it does. Um, I just wanted to quickly mention like the the brightness of the screen is a little dim um, but for the quality for the projector size and the quality and like all, all the other features included so for the since it's a, like a very portable speaker uh, speaker slash projector um, it's 
kind of to be expected that the brightness um, and the powerfulness of like the projector itself is a little on the lower side um, so I'm not really expecting it to be the best of the best but we're gonna uh, play some videos to see how it is This is for um, the projector very portable it has Bluetooth speaker mode um, so you don't need any additional devices to connect um, to your projector it also has like an Android OS uh, operating system so that um, uh, you don't really need any other additional uh, uh, smart TV boxes to set up um, one thing about the projector uh, like projector screen brightness is like it could be a little brighter but I am expecting a projector of this size to not have that much capacity anyway so but um, overall quality is really nice uh, the IR receiver is a little finicky so I do wish that it had like a Bluetooth receiver instead of an IR um, and um, some of the other features such as like the way to uh, key correct your um, angles using keystone correction is far better than most projectors I've seen. Uh, looks wise it's really nice and aesthetic um, and uh, quality wise it's also pretty good so th this is overall a good, good projector and if you guys would like it please go and go get it. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs>